Neocons always have this uh, Dolstas or stabbed in the back narrative to explain why all of their harebrained schemes go awry. You saw this after the forever wars in the Middle East where they said, well, we were, you know, we just didn't stay long enough in Afghanistan. We could have won. That, that could have turned out right if it was all the people who wanted to leave. They, you know, they cut and run. That they were the problem. They're the ones who cost us that war. They'll never admit it was just a stupid yeah. idea to get involved in the first place. So they're going to blame the people who were always opposed to their policy, who warned and advised against their policy and said it was foolish. And they're going to come, they're going to eventually going to blame those people and say that it was because they gave up hope and they pulled the rug out from under our allies and they didn't show faith that this scheme went awry. That's what's going to happen here. And you're right, yeah. they'll never take responsibility. I, I heard you talk about this with Professor Mearsheimer about whether Ukraine could suffer a collapse or their military could crumble. I actually think they, I'm going to go out on a limb here and just say that I think that we are headed for a collapse. I don't know if it'll happen before the election or not. I think it could happen this summer. I don't know if the I don't know what form the collapse will take. I don't know if it'll be a toppling of Zelensky's regime in Kiev or whether it'll be a military collapse, but I think there'll be some type of collapse. And the reason I say that is I have a lot of experience with enterprises that fail mm -hmm. and um, you know being a investor in very risky startups and companies. And the difference between an enterprise that sort of fizzles out, kind of fails that way versus one that has a sudden collapse is the element of delusion. The more delusional the people involved are, the more likely it is to collapse. Because what happens is they don't read all of the data points that are coming at them and they don't adjust their strategy. And so they run into a wall at 100 miles an hour. There's kind of like a hard reset. And what you really get what you pick up from, I think, not just American leadership is, but really Zelensky specifically, is you really get the, the sense of delusion. And, and this was the whole focus of that Time Magazine story towards the end of last year, where his own aides and advisors said that he was delusional, he had become messianic. Yeah, there you go. He no, Nobody believes in our victory like I do. But it was his own aides and advisors who were saying, we wish we could get through to this guy. You know, he keeps ordering us to go on suicide missions. He keeps ordering us to take right. you know, a few feet every day. That was the time period they should have adjusted. They should have gone uh, completely on the defensive, build up their defensive fortifications.